Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. But we're going to talk about Major League Baseball for May the 1st. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So we have a full slate of games for May 1st in Major League Baseball. We will run down uh, about six of them for you today. So let's get started. Boston and Baltimore. We're going to scroll down through some of these till we get to the ones we want. Minnesota and Tampa Bay. San Diego, Pittsburgh. Houston, Toronto. Seattle, Miami. The first one we want to look at is the Cubs and the Brewers. In this NL Central contest, the Brewers entered the game burning hot while the Cubs are ice cold down. You can see the Brewers have won four out of their last six and winners of their last two, while the Cubs are just two and four over their last six games. You can see that over as far as over under goes, the Cubs have been over in two out of their last six, while the Brewers have been over in two out of their last six as well. If you look at the power ranking indicator, both teams were on the slightly upward trend, plus 15 to plus 20 now for Milwaukee. And the Cubs were at plus 2, and they are now up at plus 6. The pitchers that have uh, not yet been named for this game, if we look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been, you can see that the Cubs have been very inconsistent with regards to their favorite underdog status at minus 6 right now, compared to Milwaukee at plus 2. The score predictor has Milwaukee by an 8 to 4 score with about 50% level of confidence. I am going to trend in that direction as well. I do like the Brewers to win this one at home, but I don't like the score to be as high. I think this one will be an under the line score, not over. So again, I like the Brewers and go under. Angels and the White Sox, Yankees and the Royals. We're going to take a look at this one. The Yankees head to Kansas City burning hot. You see they've won five out of the last six games. While the Royals are ice cold up, they are just one and five over the last six games. Luis Severino is scheduled to pitch for the Yankees. He is 2-0 with a 3.32 ERA. While Daniel Lynch is scheduled to take the mound for the Royals. He is 2-1 with a 3.38 ERA. And the pitcher profit oscillator, both pitchers have been performing well as far as being a good bet. Plus $174 for Severino and plus $160 for Lynch. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Yankees are up at plus 22, while the Royals are at plus 10. The score prediction has, has the Yankees by a 7-0 shutout, blowout game, 68% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the stability factor, you can see that the Yankees and the Royals are both performing consistent with regards to their favorite underdog status. The Yankees at plus 6, while the Royals are at plus 4. As far as the over-under goes, the Yankees have been involved in games over the line in four out of their last five, while the Royals have been over in three out of their last six. I do like the game to go for the Yankees pretty easily, actually. The Yankees will win, cover the spread, in a game going over the line. Arizona and St. Louis, Atlanta and Texas. This is the next game we want to look at. NL East meets AL West in this battle. The Braves are ice cold down coming off of a loss, and they were just 2-4 and four over their last six. While the Rangers are averaged down, they had won three out of their last four, but they're coming off of two straight losses to Houston, so they are 3-3 three and three over their last six games. An average down stats. You can see that as far as the over-under goes, the Braves have been over in three out of their last six games, while the Rangers have been involved in games under in four out of their last five. On the power ranking indicator, you can see the upward and downward trend for Texas, up, down, up, down, you can see they were at plus 20 back on April 26th, and they are now down to plus 14. While the Braves have come from plus 7 just four days ago, and they are now up to plus 15. The pitchers have not yet been named for this contest, but if we look at the um, score predictor, 3-2 to two in favor of Texas, but look, only 32% level of confidence, so take this with a grain of salt. See if this goes up in percentage, and you know if it has, check the, the score prediction. That might give you a better indication which way to go on this one. If you look at the stability factor, neither team has been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats. You see Texas at zero and, and Atlanta at minus one, so take that with a grain of salt. I do think, though, that in general that Atlanta is the better team, 
and I picked them to win this game on the road. But I would pick a game going under the line. I think this was going to be a low-scoring contest. Cincinnati and Colorado. Washington and the San Francisco Giants. The two teams are clearly heading in opposite directions. You can see here the Nationals, dead stats, losers of their last six games. And as far as the over-under goes, they've been involved in games under the line in three and over the line in three out of the last six. The Giants are burning hot down. They are coming off of a one nothing loss, and they have or 5-1, though, over their last six games. They also have been involved in games over the line in just three out of the last six. Just a good indication to avoid the over-under bet. Um, but let's take a look at the score prediction and see what this takes us. See, the, this thing here makes you lead to believe that this might be a higher scoring in 8-2 to, eight to two, San Francisco. Confidence in prediction of 83%. Now, 10 runs total probably would not be an over. Now, of course, the, the line has not yet been set. But I think Washington will probably score more than two. But San Francisco could score eight. Um, the power rankings indicator shows that San Francisco is up at plus 29, while Washington was at plus one. And they have increased a little bit, but they're still only at plus four. The volatility oscillator, see how stable the two teams have been. Washington has been more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, and they are going to be a road underdog. This gives more indication to go for San Francisco. I like the Giants to win the game going over the line. Cleveland Guardians and Oakland A's. The Guardians come in dead, losers of their last six games. While the a Oakland is average status, they have won three out of their last six games. They're coming up with one nothing shutout against um, San Francisco. As far as the over-under goes, both teams have been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six. The score prediction has Oakland by a 6-3 to three margin of win with just about 50% level of confidence. Neither team has yet to name their starting pitcher, so we can't go into anything like that as far as pitcher profit oscillator, so we will avoid that at the moment. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that Cleveland was at plus 12 on April 24th, but their losing skid has dropped them to plus 1, and Oakland has been going down as well. They were plus 16 a few days ago, and they are now at plus 9. Take a look at the stability factor. Both teams have been, well, actually, Cleveland has been much more consistently stable, so they're performing more consistent with regards to their favorite underdog status. Not a surprise. They are bad. They have been underdogs and they're losing games and that will be the case again here i like oakland to win but i would avoid the over under detroit and los angeles and the last game we want to look at is the philadelphia phillies and the new york mets this is a very classic nl east battle the phillies enter the contest burning hot winners of their last three scoring a ton of runs against uh, against colorado while the mets are average status and they are four and two over their last six and coming off of a loss Zach Eflin is scheduled to pitch for the Phillies. He is 1-1 one one with a 3.20 ERA. And Max Scherzer, 3-0 with a 1.80 ERA, is scheduled to pitch for the Mets. The Mets are in first place in the division. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that they are right at the top of the league at plus 28. While the Phillies have gone from plus 5, and their winning streak has propelled them up to plus 24. The score predictor has the Phillies by a 9-2 margin, but with only 41% level of confidence. That pick is a little surprising. Scoring nine against Max Scherzer. Yes, the Phillies have some hot bats right now, and they have an alliance that can score runs when they're uh, on all cylinders, but nine against Scherzer, hard to pick that. Uh, as far as the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that F1 is at minus 46, while Scherzer is a much better bet at plus 167. The stability factor shows here that the Phillies have been very inconsistent at minus one, while the Mets have been stable at plus five. I do like the Mets to win this one. I think the Mets will win. I think it'll be a close game. I think the Phillies will fight. I think the Mets will win by a run, but I would avoid the over-under bet. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for May the 1st. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.